All right, 549 this morning. Michelle letting us know everything that's trending, some things we may have missed from yeah, overnight. We've got a lot of movies to talk about, starting with Marvel movie news. Fans finally getting confirmation that Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever is going to happen. According to a new Marvel video, it has a release date of July 8th, 2022. We knew it was going to happen, we just didn't really know like when. Yeah. So the T'Challa character, played by the late Chadwick Boseman, will not be recast. That's new information. In the same video, Marvel revealed the first footage for Eternals and a sneak peek at some of the other upcoming movies for 2022, including Guardians and the Galaxy Volume 3. Marvel, of course, a division of the Walt Disney Company, ABC's parent company. A lot of people um, really excited for this for so many reasons, but also I was talking to someone yesterday and they're like, I kind of want to go to the movies, but there's nothing to see. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I feel like it's going to be all of a sudden where we're going to be <laughs> yeah. at the, I don't know the if movies it's still like every weekend because yeah, new right? movies will be coming 2022. Yeah. So do Start all your fun year. outside stuff now. Get ready to go to the movies <laughs> next year. Yeah. Also trending this morning, Prince Harry making his first public appearance since his grandfather's funeral. So this is at the taping of Global Citizens Vax Live. The concert to reunite the world at LA's Sophie Stadium. Uh, the concert featuring so many people, Jennifer Lopez, Eddie Vedder, uh, President Biden, and the First Lady, Ben Affleck, Jimmy Kimmel. The goal of the show is to inspire vaccine confidence and promote vaccine distribution. So it was taped. Um, and it's going to air this Saturday on oh, ABC cool. and a ton of other networks. I saw it on social media and I was like, wait, where is it? Where can I watch yeah. it? Like, oh, not yet. We can't watch it yet. <laughs> yeah. so we'll watch it on Saturday, right? Uh, so in case uh, you forgot, the first Monday in May is usually one of the fashion's biggest nights. It's the annual Met Gala because of the pandemic, of course. No red carpet. In fact, they moved it. So it's going to be in September. Okay. Um, and this year it's going to be co-chaired by a ton of of young stars. So Timothy Chalamet, Billie Eilish, Naomi Okasa, and Amanda Gorman, they're four of the youngest ever co-chairs. So Timothy Chalamet is the oldest, uh, and he's only 26. Naomi Osaka, she's a tennis player. She's uh, uh -huh. like the second player in the in the world. So really? this is cool, yeah. I, I, I did not know she was in the fashion realm, so that's pretty interesting. Yeah, well, she must be. Yeah. Or they just really <laughs> like she's tennis. She's kind of a global icon, though. Okay. She's become, she's become so Mac big. Gala is huge and they always have a really fun theme. I don't know if they announced the theme just yet since we're just finding out the co-chairs, but we'll follow that for you. Yeah. Also, a uh, happy birthday to Will Arnett turning 51 today. And Lance Bass is 42. Oh, is he the oldest one? Uh, no. He's not. I think Joey is the oldest. Oh, yeah. Or, <laughs> or maybe Chris. I saw a yeah. TikTok with him where he's like, tell me you're 40. You're in your 40s without telling me you're in your 40s. And, he's and, then, oh, and then it was something. <laughs> so. He's on a cameo, too. I was looking. <laughs> Trying to save up? Yeah. I was, I was like, can you wish me a happy birthday? You're like, how much money do I need? <laughs> I'm crowd surfing. Bring Justin with you. <laughs> yeah. It's like 400 bucks or something. It was a lot. I was like, this is not it's really necessary. Not One year. No. Hey. Yeah. When you're tuned for you, we'll, yeah. we'll pitch it. Yeah, all right, thanks. <laughs> all right, time yeah. now is 5.52. As we see, some prices continue to go up at the store. The one industry, though, that's actually bringing in more profit right now during this pandemic. Your business brief, it's all coming up next.